So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to download OBS Studio and install it. And then what we're going to use that for is to record our game main menu or whatever we're working on currently and upload that to YouTube. And then from YouTube, we're going to place it on our Wix site. So the first thing is you go to obsproject.com and then click on the version that of uh, for your system. And once you click on that, it's automatically going to start the installation process. So once it's done, you could see it installs it here. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and double click this executable to run the installer. All right, so here's our installer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click next and just really just install. It's nothing too crazy. And I'm going to pause the video. And once this installs, I'm just going to double click the icon that appears on my desktop and open up OBS. All right, so it finished installing. And I went ahead while it was installing and I opened up our game project here. And I'm going to click on launch OBS. And I'm going to hit finish. Now, while it's launching, I just want to clarify something. In all of my assignments, generally, with the exception of the absolute freshman, freshman lessons, you're generally going to be doing more than just the video tutorials that I upload. So you're going to have to do a little bit extra if it's not an intro to game class. So just pay attention to the lesson um, and make sure, for instance, with this particular lesson, they're going to have to create a credits menu, which I don't demonstrate in the video. So just be aware of that. But anyway, just as a side note, um, it says optimize for streaming. I only want to be using a virtual camera, whatever. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to do um, like optimize for recording and not streaming just for this. You can always change this later. So don't worry if you want to use this for streaming. I'm going to go ahead and click next. Use canvas resolution. This is completely, excuse me, this is completely fine. Um, because the thing is, a lot of your videos are just demo videos. Unless you're creating an animated film, you're really though the person who's going to hire hire you is really never going to be like wow this needs to be in 4k they just want to see the quality of your work so i'm going to go ahead and click next and then apply settings now while you're in here there's a couple things you need to do there's a scene which is what we have here which we can save and there's sources so i'm going to go ahead and hit the the thing to pop this out for a second now you can redock it um just trying to show you that but what you want to hit is plus here and what i want to do is i want to display capture. So go ahead and click on that. And then this will open this up and I'm just going to name this monitor 01 and then I'm going to hit OK. And then it's going to open up this properties for monitor one window. It's this capture method automatic, which is fine. And down here in displays, I have a Cintiq and I have this other stuff hooked up. I'm just going to go with this monitor and then Capture cursor is fine. You can uncheck it if you don't want the cursor in there, but it's just kind of nice because it helps guide the people since you're doing tutorial video, or not so much tutorials, but you're doing videos that you would send to a potential employer to show them how your stuff works. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here. And you might be like, wow, this is crazy. This is like, you know, videos inside of it. Don't worry too much about it. This is actually our, um, I'm holding Alt and left clicking here to move this around. But what you can do is uh, sort of, we can look at this where we're like, okay, well, where's the framed window? And this is kind of huge here. So let's sort of break this up a little bit so you could see it. Now, remember earlier we set it to 1920 by 1080, which is just the corner of our window because I have a very large window. You can go in here and right click and go to resize output source size and then hit yes. And you can see now it's framing it to your actual screen size. Now, Let's go ahead and just remember, I have my Unity project here. And I'm going to click on OBS here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit, um, I'm going to adjust this because I don't want my, my toolbar in there. And the way I do that is I hold the Alt key down and I left click and I drag this up because I don't want to see all my programs. So there we go. So now that's snipped. So it's just this window area here uh, that I want to record. And I'm just going to hit uh, Start Recording. Now, one other thing that we want to do is, let's see, we want to go to properties, not this properties, let's see, edit, let's see. Uh, file, and then we want to go to settings, actually. And then under output here, we don't need this raw, like high quality stuff. We can really just do an MPEG-4 here for our video. 
and this is fine for video size. And then audio encoding is totally cool. I mean, I don't really need any audio, but you can turn audio and then just, you know, let's see. Uh, let's see, push to mute. I want to make sure that I turn off audio recording for now. I think that's good. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply so that we record this off as an MP4. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to go ahead and hit start recording. And let's go ahead and shrink this down. And now what I can do is I'm going to hit play. And really, I'm just recording this video. So now you can see I'm going to hit start. It shows level one is complete. And I'm going to hit play again. I'm just going to go over quit. You can see that that works. If you'd like, you can do the build. And then for some of you, you're going to have a third option here, which is going to be like another button that just says like credits or something if you're for this particular assignment. But again, this lesson is really for anybody uh, because all of my classes, I essentially uh, re require that you create a video and you upload it to your website. So anyway, once that's done, so once this is done, um, if we go back to OBS, just to show you, you can see I can pause the recording. I can also stop the recording. And the video's stopped. Now, if you go to um, um, the, so you might be like, well, where is my video located? Well, if you go back to file and then settings, let's open that up. Let's see, file settings. And we go back to output. You can see it's under my name and then it's in the videos folder. So let's go back there and let's grab our video. All right, so here we are in our videos folder. Now, if you have a Mac machine, like a if you have a Mac, you have your own video editing software. I'm just going to show you something. If you go to Windows, there's an actual program if you have Windows 11 called ClipChamp. If you know how to edit, it'll essentially... Um, what's cool about this is we can go in here and create a clip or edit this clip so we can cut out this beginning part here. So you can see I'm just really scrolling all the way to the front of this video to get rid of it. And I can just either use these scissors to cut and then delete this and move over. So this is a free Windows thing. You can sign in with your Gmail account. And then like you can just kind of scroll through, let it do its thing. So as I play this, you can hear audio in there too. Now for the audio, uh, I'm going to hit detach audio because again, I don't want, I'm not really, I'm like, like explaining this in tutorial format. So when I press play here, now I have no audio. So let's see what happens here. And I want to cut that end part where I go back to OBS to stop the recording. So I'm going to select this and I'm just going to hit the X here and I'm going to delete that. So now I have the clip. Let me press play here to see it working. You can see my mouse is moving. I'm showing you all that cool stuff. All right. So with that, I can um, let's close this out. And all right, let's name this video main menu. And let's go ahead and export this. Um, 1080p is fine. And it's exporting out the video. And it's really just going to do it back into the same location. And then we could watch it. You can see just showcasing that the project works. All right. And if you'll notice, if I click on the folder here, it took me to oh, my download. So I'm going to go ahead and just go to YouTube really quick and upload the video. And while it's paused right now, I'm going to go ahead and move that to my videos folder. All right, so here I am on my YouTube channel. I'm going to go ahead and click Create and upload a video. And I'm just going to navigate to my videos folder. And here's the main menu made with ClipChamp. And I'm just going to leave this as Assignment 01 Main Menu. And I'm going to say it is no, it is not for kids. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see that better. And let's see. You can make a new playlist, let's see, called 
new playlist. We'll call this homework. And then whatever for your class name, create. And then we'll leave that under homework. And then I'm going to hit create. Or uh, OK, we're done, homework. And let's hit next. Let's see, next. And we want to make sure this is public. And I'm going to hit publish. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to the site here. It looks like that published it, maybe because it's 46 seconds, pretty quickly. So now that we have our site here, we're actually, or our video uploaded to our site under the homework stuff here. Um, let's get rid of all this nonsense over here. Um, let's go to the Wix website here, and we're going to change this from home to your class name. And under your class name here, what we want to do is we want to upload or embed a video, a YouTube video. So if you remember from the video, previous video where we created our website, we created a blank page and this is going to be your class name. And so you can see there's add elements. We're going to click on that. And what we're looking for is video or music element. And I want to upload a YouTube element. So there's a couple things here. Don't just add this YouTube element here. What I want you to do is you're going to add a text box. And with, here's our heading, and you're going to name this something like, you know, assignment, whatever your assignment is. And let's bring this font size down a lot. That's pretty extreme. Assignment 01, main menu. And then you want to go back to your assignment zero one here. You want to grab this link and then you want to do, when you click on your video, you want to do change video. And then this link here, I'm going to paste that in there. And so you're going to have your video there and then assignment zero one main menu. And I most likely require you to have some sort of text description. So text, and then you want to do paragraphs and you're going to grab a paragraph and put it to the side here like this, and then you're going to write a description of that assignment, and you could do some cool stuff. This is, remember, this is your site. Now, a lot of people will go up here and grab this link and submit that for your assignment. I can't access that. You actually have to publish the site, and then you have to view site, and then you have to go to your class name, and then I want you to copy this link, and that's what you're going to submit to me for your homework. And that's pretty much the entire process of installing OBS, uploading it to your website, and creating the assignment.